Hey, what's up? Yesterday, Yumodigi announced a new smartphone called Yumodigi Power. The design of new phone doesn't differ much from Yumodigi F1. Both phones have a water drop notch above the display, plastic case and dual camera with fingerprint reader on the back. So why new phone called Power? Because of powerful hardware or big battery? Let's find out! This is the first video about Yumodigi Power, but later we will try to get it for unboxing and full review. Subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers not to miss new videos. As I already said, Yumidigi Power has similar design to Yumidigi F1. It has the same dimensions and display size, water drop notch above the display, dual camera and fingerprint sensor on the back. Perhaps the only difference between these phones is in flashlight. Yumidigi F1 has flashlight between two sensors, while the flash on Yumidigi Power is located under the camera setup. Talking about display, new mobile phone comes with 6.3-inch diagonal Full HD Plus resolution, 2340 by 1080 pixels. The manufacturer says that the screen-to-body ratio is 92.7%, but I don't believe in this. Most likely it has about 85%, which is good for budget phone. Another update in Yumidigi Power is chipset. New smartphone is powered by Helio P35 processor. This is new chipset from MediaTek, but it is entry-level. Yumidigi F1 has Helio P60, and it provides much better performance. For example, Yumidigi Power scores about 86,000 points in N2, while Yumidigi F1 has 140,000 points in the same test. Also, new phone has 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage with microSD support. Among the main features are NFC, global LTE bands, and Android 9.0 Pi operating system. Yumidigi Power has dual camera on the back, which consists of 16 megapixels main sensor and 5 megapixel secondary sensor for bokeh effect. On the front panel is another 16 megapixels camera. I want to note that Yumidigi F1 has the same front and rear main sensor, but it comes with 8 megapixels secondary sensor on the back instead of 5 megapixels in Yumidigi Power. In general, I think that the photo quality will be similar on these phones. You can watch our video with camera test of Yumidigi F1 by the link in description. Yumidigi Power has 5150mAh battery, just like Yumidigi F1. It also supports 18 watt fast charging. Our battery test of Yumidigi F1 showed about 9.5 hours screen on time. I'm sure that Yumidigi Power will have completely the same battery life. As you can see, Yumidigi Power doesn't differ much from Yumidigi F1, except processor and secondary sensor on the back. To be honest, I don't understand why it is called Power, because it has the same battery as Yumidigi F1, but it offers much worse performance than previous model. I think it should be called Yumidigi F1 Lite. We don't know the price of Yumidigi Power, but it should be no more than $150, maybe even less, because Yumidigi F1 costs $200 and it is much better. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about Yumidigi Power? Should you buy it or Yumidigi F1? Write in comments below. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers.